woman gets help from stranger on the road, three years later she's shocked when his identity is revealed. What goes around comes around. But most importantly, what you give you will receive. If you ever doubted this, perhaps this story might change your mind. She was a single mother going through a hard time who one day found herself not being able to get home. He was a good Samaritan who was at the right place at the right time. Serendipity worked perfectly in their favors. But neither one of them would have expected the pivotal role they would come to play in each other's lives further down the road. On a rainy day in 2014, Chris Wright and his family were on their way to church in Georgia, USA, when suddenly they noticed a car pulled over on the side of the road. They stopped and Chris asked the lady if everything was okay. The lady explained she had run out of gas and was planning to walk to the closest gas station. That lady was Tonda Hector, a single mother of two, who was at the time going through a divorce and having serious financial difficulties. One Sunday I ran out of gas on the highway, Tonda told CNN. I started walking with my gas can and I only had $5, and this guy pulled up and said, you need help. She explained her story to Chris after he offered to give her a ride to the closest gas station. Chris empathized with the single mother. I was being tugged on the inside again and felt the Lord said, whatever you have in your pocket just give it to her. She needs that, Chris tells ABC News. I gave her the $40 and she cried and I didn't know if I'd ever see her again. But I felt like it was what I was led to do at that point. The generous stranger then filled up her gas can and drove her back to her car. It was like God sent him my wee, Tonda tells CNN. Then, fast forward three years. Chris's mother, Judy, was admitted to the hospital, struck with Parkinson's disease, her condition had deteriorated. Chris and his family decided to find a nursing aide to help Judy at home. They began searching and interviewing different nursing aides in their town. One day Chris's dad called him up and told him about a nursing aide that he and his mom had really liked. He told him that for some reason he felt there was something different about her, and that he and Judy felt better when she was around. Chris was keen on meeting the woman. Like his family, he took a liking to the woman right away. The woman and the family shared a common devotion to faith, and the lady asked Chris what church he went to. Chris responded the Cornerstone Church adding she'd once met the nicest man there some years back. He'd filled up her gas tank and given her $40 when she needed it the most. That's when Chris realized who she was. That was me, he told her, in tears. She asked him to take his hat off and she realized.